Hey everybody and welcome back to Mission Control for a quick tips video. In this video we're going to talk about using limits to keep lights off of a screen. We can use the upper and lower limits to limit a fixture's pan or tilt to keep it off a video screen for example. Setting the upper or lower limit can be useful to quickly prevent fixtures from hitting the screens with an already programmed show. To do this, open the patch view, select the attribute behavior tab, then select the upper or lower limit in the context menu, Remember, our context menu is going to be the four lines button on the Titan Go, Sapphire Touch, and D9 series. On our other consoles, it would be just select the soft keys B, C, and D as circled here. Then select the fixtures to be limited and set them in a position that will be the upper or lower limit. And select the attribute to be limited by clicking on it, pan in this example, or just the individual cell if not doing all fixtures. Then click set to current value on soft key A, or if you happen to know what the limit needs to be, you can just put that in instead. So let's take a look at that. Here I am on version 16 on the Titan Go virtual interface and we see here we've got a little uh, stage set up with some uh, boxes set up to look like screens on the side of our uh, stage and we've got a little playback here that has a shape running and you see that our fixtures are sweeping across our virtual screens. So what we can do to limit those is we go ahead and we'll select them and we'll give them a locate and we'll go to our position and we'll tilt them up this way and we'll pan them towards the lower limit until they start hitting the screen and we'll back them off just a little bit and we'll say that's about perfect and then we can go ahead and open our patch view by double clicking open slash view and then selecting patch view and then we'll go ahead and go to our attribute behavior and we'll go ahead and set our in our context menu we'll go ahead and set it to be lower limit and we'll go ahead and click on the whole pan column and then we can go ahead and set the current value and since there's a little drawing bug here we can click off it and back on it and see that it actually put it there if you happen to know what the limit needs to be and we'll go ahead and change it to upper limit I have to know from earlier testing that these need to be at 65 for my uh, upper limit. And go ahead and enter. And again, if we click on it and back on it, we can see it actually put it in there. So I'll go ahead and hit clear to clear our programmer. And now if I fire this same shape, we can see that it doesn't hit our screens anymore. To remove a limit, we can open up the patch view and select the attribute behavior tab, then select the upper or lower limit in the context menu, select the fixtures to have the limit removed, then select the attribute to have the limit removed by clicking on it, pan in this example, or just the individual cell if not doing all fixtures, and then click remove limit on soft key A. Or you can go to the patch menu, select the fixtures, and then select press edit fixtures on the soft keys, and then find reset behavior on the soft keys and click that. Note this will reset all limits, offsets, inverts, and freezes you may have added. So let's have a look at that. So what I can do here is in my uh, patch view here, and I've got it set to be on our upper limit still. I go ahead and select the whole column, and then click Remove Limit, and click off of it and back on it. And we can see that it shows them is no longer there. Here we change to our lower limit. And we just remove, I'll oh, say, these fixtures. And we can move the limit. And again, click off it and back on it. And see that they're gone, but our other fixtures still have it. So we'll show the other method of making it uh, remove. And we'll close our patch view for the moment. And we go get patch, edit fixtures. And then we'll select these ones. And then find reset behavior and confirm. And now if we open up our patch view again, we'll do a quick look in view and then patch. And we can see that it is now removed from our lower limits. So that has been using limits on pan and tilt to keep your lights from hitting the screens on an already program show. Of course, this could be used on any attribute uh, to limit it to either up or down, which is a quick showing it as a tool uh, for a program show with screens. I hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook at AYHUS. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Real stop.
Roger, we'll stop Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.